to the Horace Heresy Betrayal of Calf. Um, I think the box is actually really, really nice. Uh, so, uh, see what's inside. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> okay. You actually see the box a lot better. Oh, can you? Uh, yeah, so I think the box art is very, very nice. Jesus. Okay, so what do we get? Well, the stands are definitely the new stands, slightly bigger than the old ones, which I must admit I really, really like. So that's, that's good news, except I'm going to have to do this for my whole army now, which is bad news. Uh, the sprues, for the most part, are like you'd buy in a normal box set rather than the, 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 the big game box sets where everything's kind of poseable, you can put your men together how you like. And, sorry, this is the first time I'm looking at this detail. I've got lots of the Forge World 30k, and I must admit, these are just as good. Um, so I hope they continue this and, and, and release a lot more in plastic. Because uh, while I uh, don't mind the resin, it is a pain in the arse. But yeah, so the, 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 they are very, very nice. So the, you get three tactical squads. Uh, let's see this one, it's a nice big one. Some lightning claws there, notice. Um, now some really nice kit there. The shoulder pads don't have specific markings, which means you can make them any legion you like, which is good because I'll be doing Imperial Fist. Rather than Ultramarine or the Betraying Bastards. Uh, so yeah, the squads all appear poseable. The Terminators... I, I think are, are pretty poseable as well. I don't know why the legs come in slightly weird sections. I think that's just a feeling of that you've made them. So the legs don't seem that poseable. Uh, the characters... Again, I don't think these are poseable uh, at all. These are just... It's a bit disappointing, actually, but they, they, they're still very, very detailed. So I can't complain, really. Um, and I'm sure people can do conversions if, if, if they want to. The Dreadnought looks to be not poseable as well, um, which is a shame because I wanted it standing on something. But I... Uh, I'll see what I can do. I'll probably just build it the way it is instead of risking messing it up. Now, the game that comes with it itself, I, I haven't looked into yet, so I don't really know what that does, uh, what you do with it, but we play the Forge World game anyway, so I doubt we'll be playing much of the boxed game. Uh, probably sure I'll give it a go, see what it's like. Um, the dice are very nice, don't know what any of this means yet. Uh, but they are very nice. And this card set looks nice. Uh, then there's the boards. Which sadly aren't separated here. So I'll just take them out of the packet so we can see them. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so the boards, as I say, we probably won't be using these so much. The double sided, um, I've got to say, they are very, very nice though. Um, but I hate 2D terrain rubbish. Um, I'd rather they gave you a token bit of buildable terrain. They are really thick. Oh, they are, yeah. 
Yeah, they, they seem they do seem proper sturdy. So I think show you on one of them. I think they just sort of pop out quite easily. Yeah. You, you put them together like a jigsaw. Uh, then we've got. Oh, that's that's a thick book actually. That's a lot bigger than I was expecting. Um, full colour. Very much in the style of the other Forge World books for the Horus Heresy. Um, no, that's that's very nice. I'll have a good look through that. Um, I think this is just an instruction manual. Yeah. Uh, which is well, it's good quality. It's nice. Um, I think for most players, they won't they won't really need it. Now the transfer sheet. Is lovely if you want to do either word bearers or the ultramarines, but as I'm, I don't. Sadly, that's that's useless for me. Um, the I must say, actually, the word bearers stuff looks a lot nicer than the ultramarine stuff. Um, that's almost tempting to start a word bearers army just because of them. They are very very nice. Uh, there we go. There's our unboxing and some. Some pointless bags. Don't know why they're there. <laughs> uh, but I'll put up a video when we've done some painting.